Um, hi guys, so today we are here for a Makari Japan haul. Um, as I said in my previous video, I um, bought some stuff from Makari and I caught up on some collections. So we can just get into it. We'll do the bigger items first. So um, I did purchase some albums. So the first one was Nexi's album. I'm pretty sure this doesn't like have any inclusions in it. I'm not sure. Oh, girl, I don't know how to open it. Okay, but I think it might have the photo book. Oh, okay, it does have inclusions in it. Okay, thank y'all. Put these photo cards over here. What is this? Are these like stickers? Yeah. Okay, those are stickers. This is the CD. Oh, that's cute. Okay. Oh, it's like the lyric book. Okay. Oh, but um, I watched the Nizzy Project season two so i was really excited about next year debuting and so i did i think i found all except for like one set of my bias lines cards i don't like the feeling of this because it's matte oh but they look so cute go for this photo book why is it matte i don't like that I really like his hair, actually. I mean, I'm not really unboxing or doing an album unboxing. I'm just <laughs> okay. So, that was the next Z album that I bought. Can we just put that on my shelf? I go in there. I don't, I don't really like the design of this outer box for the album. Like, do you want these? What's going on? Oh, I'm so stupid. That's how you open it. I opened it the wrong way. I'll put it back in later. <laughs> um, I bought some, I caught up on my TXT OT5 collection for this new era and I bought, I think this is like just a set Part, yeah, it came with the album, so I'll put that to the side. QR card. Okay. Now these ZB1 albums. Well, let me do that last because that has photo cards in it. Oh. I don't know. Is this? I don't know if this is like resealed. I don't know. I thought all of this was unsealed, but it might just be resealed. Oh Lord, I don't poke myself. So this is gonna digi pack. Oh, I like that. Um, I'm not sure if it has photo card. It might. Oh, I think it is. Oh, that. Oh, it has on how. I put this in my. Oh, okay, it's on how. I actually don't like when they do like mini posters like this like where it's random i would rather it be like the members whose digipack you got because what if you want to collect like ot9 <laughs> and so you buy all nine digipacks but since the mini posters are random you get you get a whole bunch of dupes okay so this is silly right Ooh. So far, I think the 
only area where I don't have good enough digipad is um no youth in the shade yes youth in the shade I need to get it because I think I'm gonna make like a display of all his like CDs and stuff I have to figure out how I want to do it I don't want to cut this So this is the newest album you had me at hello i also bought the is it called the solar version the really big one but i didn't ship it out yet because it's so big and i already had a bunch of stuff to ship out so i was like i'm just gonna ship that out with later stuff oh this is so pretty i actually really do like it but i still think that melting point is my favorite like album design of theirs because of like the outer box and stuff first of all is there because this was sealed Even making sure this is in frame, which is okay. Could have made it a little bit thicker than that. Okay, so that right there. And then, okay, yeah. Again, we don't have to flip through because this is in a, you know. Uh, oh, this CD is so beautiful. I love that. This is in a. Ooh. Yes. Honestly, this album is really pretty. I just feel like compared to like um, Melting Point, it's a little more flimsy. Oh, so pretty. Um, oh yes and it's glossy they did that for me but yeah it's a little more flimsy like I would have loved for it to have like an outer box but I get it because they printed you know they wanted to print like these portraits on it these are so pretty I don't even just want to put these on my shelf sideways I'm gonna have to see because I'm about to get new shelves anyway so I'm gonna have to see how I'm gonna rearrange everything oh this is my favorite version is this what version is this is this the i don't remember all the names is this the eclipse version it might be but it's so pretty i love like this specific concept is my favorite it's so pretty like yes okay 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 but i don't like that why is it matte oh but they look live i really love this version I love the outfits. I like the color grading, everything like that. Oh, this one is the one that comes with ID. Oh no, this is the um. Oh, haha! It's cute, and I want to keep it, y'all. I've been first of all, now I got the unit car. I've been trying my best. Yeah, the backs of these are so. I really love this version. I've been trying my best to resist. Um, <laughs> oh no, the ID card I'm guessing is from the solo version. Okay. Um, I've been getting bias work so bad. Ooh. Like you been. And I've been tempted so bad to collect for him. But I'm like, no, I don't need to do that. You know, I really don't need to do that. Because I already originally collected for two members of bb1 but then i ended up just going to gunnook and i've been doing fine with just collecting for gunnook you know it hasn't been stressful i've been having fun with it it's chill it's not you know bringing me as much stress as it did when i was collecting for both him and ricky because it was a little bit harder to find ricky's stuff and trades and all that first of all y'all ricky looks so good don't get it twisted, Ricky and Glenook are still both of my biases in BB1. Really, I'm OT now, but I really love them, but I just, 
I feel better like now that I've dropped my Ricky collection and I'm only trying to keep up with Good Look. It, it's it's just a lot less stressful because you know collecting photo cards is supposed to be fun. So the moment it starts getting stressful, it's just you know what's the point you know. So I really do not. But you've been really been bias tricking me lately, and his cards are so cute too. And I'm just like ah oh, ah, but I'm not doing that to myself. Hey Matthew, I'm not. I can't because I already went to one member, so I don't need to go and add another member. Okay, and then we have gonna well since we're about to start getting into photo cards, let me put these ones out here already. This is Gunnuk's polka album. And then the polka album, it, I think it automatically comes with one set. Like a set. Oh. Well, these are the inclusions. <gasps> Ooh! Is this a sticker? Girl, I don't remember the um inclusions. I'm gonna put this in my binder. Let me see. It don't feel like a sticker to me. Well, it feels like it at the top, but at the back, it really does not. Let me see. It is a sticker. Okay, I'll probably just put it on his binder. Okay. So, <laughs> I got distracted. Oh, yes. Is this a sticker, too? Oh, yes. I'm going to put this on his binder. This is like one sticker, though. This doesn't feel like a sticker. It's like a little QR card. Okay. Ow. And then, oh, this is where you display this thing. Well, I'm gonna put this on my shelf. Where my ZB1 albums are at. Oh yes, this is cute. Um, yeah, this is cute. Ah. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I, Cause I looked at all the inclusions and stuff, but this album came out last month. Like, what didn't it come out in May? Yeah, it came out in May, I believe. It's been a bit, so I don't remember everything. Like all the inclusions. This is so cute. Yep, I'm gonna put this on the shelf. Do that later <laughs> okay so for a random photo car i got hanbin and jiwoon and now the rest are just like um concept cards that you automatically get the member um whose polka album you bought so these are all gonna oh i love the back yes it's so pretty i love it yes okay and i already bought his random cards i believe like i bought them separate so yeah i'm gonna display this too yeah it's so much going on that i need to display oh, yeah i definitely need new shelves i'm gonna get three new shelves and change my like display around a little bit okay so the rest of this is some more gonna a whole bunch of TXT and Team and Next Z. So, how do I? So, for Next Z, I collect for you, Haru, and Ken. So as I stated, I was able to get all of their cards, except for, I swear it was one, like this one card from the Nemo version. I don't remember if the Nemo version had two, but I swear when I looked at the template, cause I don't know, cause sometimes with the template, they put the, oh, oh it's so beautiful. Look at you, you and Ken. Um, but um, they put like the postcard image right next to the photo card image at the same side. <gasps> Oh, I forgot I got this. Yas, Ken. Oh my god, yes. But um, I literally 
I th I'm pretty sure the Nemo version has two photo cards. I think so. And I'm essentially missing uh, the second one for all of them. But other than that, I'll be able to get all the rest of their cards. Now I just need to find the that other Nemo one. And then I also need to um, get some pop sets for them if I can. I have to get a template to find like the pop sets for them. Ooh, I really love the backs of these. These are pretty. Yeah, because I know there is photo book version, Nemo version, and then what was the other one? I don't remember. Like, I, okay, and so for people who don't know who probably are like, who's Ken? So this is Ken. Like, technically before <laughs> he was in the debut lineup, he um his stage name was Ken, so that's what I'm used to calling him. But then, like, a couple weeks before they debuted, JYP announced that he would be changing his stage. Well, it's it's, it's his quote unquote stage name to his real name, which is Sogon. But I'm so used to calling him Ken, so I still call him that. <laughs> so yeah. And I made a lot of progress with my OT5 TXT collection. To the point where now I'm only missing three cards. Which is great. Well, not really great because I'm still missing three cards, but at least I'm only missing three cards. I was missing a bunch. It's a bunch of TXT. And some of these are dupes because I bought like sets or in order to get the member that I needed, I bought like one of the set with the another member. So I have a bunch of extra next Z cards at this point. So I'll go Tomiya and Haru. Recite the. Package came right in time though because my kid just went down for a nap. Like, yes, give me time to film my unboxings. <laughs> okay, yeah, oh, so cute. Yeah, I really want to find some pop sets, so I'm pretty sure, like, they're not gonna be expensive, even if they are, I'm still gonna buy them because right now I don't even have any pop sets for NCT Wish yet. I just have like the um. What's it called? The freaking, um, like some of the merch cards from their original pop up, my like merch pop up shop before they debuted. But I'm gonna go ahead and get some sets for them too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some for, um, oopsies, for um, Next Z also. Because for Japanese groups, it's just a little harder to find pops because. Usually to find like the Japanese store ones, obviously you have to go on Miyokyo or well, Makari Japan and it's really hard to find um, like templates of what I need and for all of my Japanese groups, I, I uh, collect for multiple members. So for N-Team, I collect for two members, I collect for Nico, um, Nico, uh, Lord, Nico. Nicholas and EJ. For NCT Wish, I collect for three members, I collect for collect for um Sion, Yushi, and Riku. And then obviously for next Z I collect for Yu, Haru, and Ken. So I wanna like since I'm collecting for multiple members, I want the same pop for them so that I can do sets. And it's usually hard to find templates. So I don't want to be buying stuff and it's not it doesn't match. So 
but they want NCT Wish. It's NCT Wish since they're an NCT unit there on Poker Market. So I found some pops that's on there. So I'm gonna buy some. They just put Next Z on Poker Market too, but since they literally just debuted, they like really have anything like on there yet. So I'm gonna see. And I have like a little bit for um before I go to TXT and get this. I have like a little bit of stuff for um, Nicholas and EJ, but I don't really have sets. Okay, so I got the sticker again. Okay. So I got the, the concept cards again because they came with this whole bundle. So I just bought it and then I was able to get, I think what's, no. Oh yeah, these are both of the Poker Album versions. Yeah, because I already bought his DigiFat card from Poker Market. Yep, so I'm finished with Gunna now for You Had Me at Hello Era. Now I just gotta get Pops. Ooh, Jesus. Now for Sami Dore Era, for Nicholas and EJ, I was able to get everything except for one Nicholas card. And so now I have to look to find it. Oh. I forgot that this came with this one. I have, well, I should leave this sealed because I have this specific pop already. Yeah, for both of them, I'm gonna leave that sealed because I'm gonna probably put it up for sale because I already have it. That's why you know I'd really be forgetting where I bought. Do -do 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 -do. So yeah, for a lot of my NT stuff, it's a lot of dupes that I got because again, it's always best to buy bundles anyway because it's cheaper and you tend to get a bunch of cards anyway. So I always buy bundles regardless of if I have dupes or not. Yeah, so I believe when I look at my template, I'm only missing one Nicholas card. so pretty i love weavers japan oh that might be the other one i need because i was able to get both weavers did i get both weavers japan wow it's for in ej i gotta look through my own my binder again i think i was so i think i was only missing that one for nicholas if i remember correctly Excuse me. <laughs> okay. And then they didn't already announced High Living Japan that already announced that um girl, what am I talking about? That um N Team is gonna have another comeback in August. And at first I was like, hmm, that's really off because usually N Team literally usually has like two comebacks a year. And literally it's usually always in November or May. And obviously they had Sami Dory um, come back in May and now they're coming back in August. But I think it's because they're gearing up for 24 Kumi's debut because they haven't been on social media in a, a while. Like they haven't been posting or anything like that. And I checked and it's literally they haven't posted since April. So I'm thinking that they're prepping for their debut. So they're probably about to debut soon. So that's why they're probably going to go ahead and get um end teams come back out the way so that they can have room to go ahead and um focus on 24 kumi's um debut which i'm really excited about that y'all know obviously since i stand in team i watched um an audition and i love gaku he was my number one pick on their debut in end team so i'm happy that he's finally debuting is this i'm gonna think I think these are shuffle. I have to look through my binder of my NTM binder to see what I already have. So all the rest of this is just OT5 TXT. in my binder. I'm so excited. 
I'm sorry y'all, I'm not as talkative today because I have a headache. <laughs> my kids have been struggling with their sleeping and it's making me struggle with my sleep. So I'm pretty tired, but you know, I have no choice obviously but to get up and get the day going. So, and I'm in college and I'm doing summer semester. So I just finished the first half of summer semester and boom, literally today is when the second half started and I have two classes and I'm already exhausted, but it's fine because I'm on track to graduate next year so that's exciting <sighs> I can't wait till I'm done oh my god I just bent this part a little bit oh no okay so this will be the one I put in my binder so I just bent a little bit <clears throat> I, like I haven't even it's to the point where I've been so busy today just doing homework tending to my children and cleaning my house that I haven't even today I'm filming this on Wednesday and I haven't even watched. Today was the premiere of The Rebound. And it's um, obviously Wednesday too. So episode 13 of We Are Is Out. And I haven't even watched either of them yet. Because I literally have been just working, doing homework, and cleaning. And dealing with my kids all day. <clears throat> but... I put them down for a nap and as soon as that happened my package got hurt and I was like yes let me go ahead and film this and then after that I'll go ahead and watch <laughs> the two new episodes that are out <clears throat> oh my god I didn't like the other day I'm just a little salty man the other day GMTV announced that um that they'll be having a fan meet in Europe. And I think like off gun, it's gonna be off gun, great and force book. I think boom print are gonna be there too. I've got all the couples that are gonna be there. But essentially, I was like, man, are y'all ever gonna come to America? Like, ugh, ugh. like the whole reason why, that's what I tried to explain to my mom because like when I first told my mom I was going to Thailand, she was like, why do you wanna go to Thailand? Like, why are you just randomly going to Thailand? And I'm like, because my mom doesn't know what BL is. I haven't, she, I'm not going to explain that to her. But I just told her, it's like, I was like, I'm fangirling like K-pop. And I want to go meet some Thai actors and T-pop artists. And she was just like, oh, okay. I didn't tell her what, what specific genre, but that's what I told her. So she was like, oh, okay. But she was like, why can't, she was like, why can't you just wait till they come to America? Because you know since i explained it almost like k-pop you know k -pop artists come here all the time she thought that bl well the actors come here and stuff and i was like mom they don't come here i was like the like it's not like K i was like it's not fully like k-pop like k-pop artists they come here literally like every year but like if i want to go see them i have to go to thailand so she was like okay <laughs> but i'm like oh can you ever come to granted i know technically it's not it's not like Europe is like privileged. They're still only going to Rome. Like they're only going to Italy. But granted, Europe is like um the countries are so small and close to each other that you can literally take like a train or literally drive to Italy if you're from like another European country because it's so close. It's like, you know, it's even closer. It's way closer than like American states. So but I'm like, man, can y'all at least just come to LA? Please, DMTV. But it's fine because I'm going to there. So. <laughs> but still, just a little. I was like, oh, I'm jelly. I hope y'all have fun. I know a lot of people are really excited for Force and Book to be back. So, European fans, I hope y'all have fun. I think, I think, I think the family is going to be in January. So, yeah. I hope y'all have fun. I'm jelly. <laughs> Because so far, I think what I've known, I'm pretty sure the only people who've come to like America are like, I know Boston Noel came like two months, was it like two months ago? I heard that Z Nunu came last year and then first from Don't Say No, he came too. But no GMT, the, the only time GMTV like artists come to America is if they're doing like some type of fashion thing. Like I know Pond Pooin and was it Pond Pooin? Yeah, it was Pond Pooin and Wynn, right? Yes, Pond Pooin and Wynn, they went to New York. 
earlier this year for like some type of fashion theme and i know um some people they were able to see them but again that's like one state you know and they usually only it's come there for like fashion events and then they go home. <laughs> so i would love for them to do a fan meet but i know like because like, the thing about this to me like i know that everyone's like oh it costs money yes we know but gtv they got enough money to do it they do they have they definitely have enough money to put on a fan meet in america they do that company is the biggest video production company in thailand they have the money for it it's just they probably do they want to spend it i don't know because obviously it's a lot cheaper to just do a fan meet in a country where you can literally take a like couple like two three hour maybe four or five hour plane ride instead of like how america is like a basically you traveling for almost two days but still they have the money for it they could totally do it but it's fine i'm, I'm just gonna i'm gonna go there and i'm gonna have fun and i'm gonna go see my boys and drink some oishi <laughs> green tea and eat some snacks and try all the different 7-eleven stuff <laughs> okay i didn't realize i got so much oh my god because i still have this is only part one of a haul i'm this is like the k-pop part i still have a whole bl <laughs> merch haul to do oopsies but i gotta sleeve all of this okay okay so that is my makari japan haul or whatever um so so far i have another haul that i'm about to film which is my bl merch haul and then obviously after that i'm gonna film a store and photo card video to store all of my stuff so right now as of today it's wednesday i have four pre-recorded videos and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm about to do another i don't know what is going on because i pre-ordered some bl merch through this girl that she she's tight she's Thai, and so she her family will go to like the gntv events and like buy the stuff and they'll send it to america and she'll sell it to us so i bought a lot of my merch from her like that and i pre-ordered i forgot because <laughs> i pre-ordered like quite a bit of stuff from her so I, I was like oh yes this friday i'm gonna go ahead and buy my tws albums and my txt and boarding store albums but no i have to go ahead and pay for my merch but i'm excited because i'm pretty sure she hasn't told me but she said that a lot of the pre-order merch is gonna be in america next week so i'm pretty sure it's my last twilight box set the um the the, the, the concert box set uh i ordered gemini fourth and lichens memory set and i also ordered um jimmy c's photo book so that'll be another haul but obviously like i said in the 15th of this month i'm gonna go ahead and buy some more merch i was just gonna do strictly bo i'm not sure yet since i'm a little behind i'm not really behind but there's about to be a new era obviously for txt and boy next door tws just hit the new era i don't know i'll figure out what i'm exactly what i'm gonna do but i do exactly really want to buy some bo merch because I did just start my own nanny collection. I need to go ahead and buy stuff. I need to buy this stuff I need to buy. So I'm sorry babbling, but I just wanted to let y'all know what was coming if y'all was interested. So thank you for anyone who decides to watch this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.